All right, lads, lasses. Here I am again. Out, it's a bit wild today. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear us. But, uh, ooh. Ooh. Right. Uh, Northumberland, near Ingram Valley, somewhere around that region. So, I'm actually just doing a recce, um, coming up here with the lads, uh, a couple of weeks. So I thought I've got a, a night planned of, of camping, so I thought I'd come up and do this, just to make sure that, uh, you know, it's suitable. And I tell you, it's absolutely fucking beautiful. Yeah, like, beautiful, lovely. Stunning. All well, the views on the way in, lovely. Ooh. So, just following Bremish River. Uh, so, I haven't brought a map, you know. Wild. So, I'm just sort of following what I know is well, obviously this river, and then. Uh, We'll see if we can find a decent spot somewhere near it. All right, not be long. Cheers. Well, further on around the valley now. Uh, just had to cross that uh, river Bremish, and we feet are soaking. Even though I've got uh, you know waterproof boots on and. Yeah, okay, that's never mind, never mind. Maybe yeah, uh, next time we'll find a better place to cross. Maybe. Well we'll see, I think I might have just found it when I look back. That's what's canny. Canny. Right. So yeah, it's about half seven now. Uh it won't for about half an hour ish. Uh, so, got a little bit to go. Maybe it's another, another half an hour by the looks of it. And uh, hopefully, then we're at the, the area where we're going to sort of be. Alright, back shortly. Right, found somewhere slightly more sheltered. Just trying to build. Uh, a uh, sort of uh, the heat reflector. I'm hoping to get a fire going shortly. Uh, the wood around here is absolutely soaking wet. It's it's pretty rotten. Um, I mean, as you can see, the trees are all falling down over there. There's a couple here which which aren't too clever, but um, I think for the most part we're pretty safe here. They all look green, fairly solid. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, not quite where where we said we were going to camp, um, but this is going to have to do because it's it's getting dark quick now. Um, my feet are soaking, so but it's it's pretty good though. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm going to get this built. Um, see if I can get some firewood, some dry wood from somewhere before it gets pitch black. Um, and then I'll crack on with something to eat. Um, hard slog getting up here, like hard slog. So, I mean, uh, you know, me brother and, and Holly Oaks, Peter, um, you know, they're, they're fit as out, you know, they'll get up here, knee problem. They'll whack it, they'll just float up, I'll be miles behind. But um, it was a pretty hard slog, and I don't think it's going to be great for. You know three or four of us camping here i mean you know there's a fence here open fields there well, that's what we cannot really see but um you know there's not a lot of room you could get another one here maybe but we're going to be crossing the the, the guy ropes oh well, there's just a bit too dodgy with all these fallen trees you know so i don't know 
we might have to rethink. Uh, maybe he's moving into the, uh, the the proper forest through there, if you can see that. Well, anyway, I'm going to get on, and then I'll come back to you shortly, hopefully, uh, if it's not too pitch black, um, and I haven't been shifted by a farmer or raped by sheep. But I'll um, be back soon. Well, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's now pretty dark, as you can see. Bit of, slight bit of light up there in the sky, but got a fire going. Got the uh, heat reflector thing up. Um, so, I mean, that's all right. It's very worrying, though. I mean, it's still pretty windy, although I'm slightly sheltered here, but the, these trees are cracking and you can see there's a, there's a few here that are deed which I didn't notice or just about deed so if uh, if you find me body in the morning under a tree trunk just tell Wallace I love her okay love you baby yeah well it's cold now 25 past 11 absolutely Pitch black. Um, yep, got some supper on. Let me just show you. Oh. Got some sausages. Sizzling while I wait for the Korean rice. Korean rice and um, it's a it's a look what we found chicken tikka and I've got a, a boy in the bag rice in there mm, mm, mm. so yeah sausages won't be long I'll, I'll eat them and then I'll eat the curry once the uh, the billy cans cool down um, and then I think it'll be a matter of taking me wet socks and boots off and coming into bed getting some decent kip and then uh, I was going to have them sausages in the morning uh, you know for for breakfast but uh, but no uh, I figure that you know I'll, uh, in the morning I'll probably just want to pack up I'll probably be cold it's windy Probably raining in the morning, so yeah, yeah, I thought, well, I'll cook them now, I'll eat them now, full belly before bed, um, and then uh, in the morning, I've got cereal boss, I've actually got a sandwich as well somewhere, um, a ham and peas pudding sandwich mm -mm, for breakfast, so I can have any of them things, a cup, cup, few cups of coffee, um, I've got a hexi stove, so you know, I don't need to get another fire going. Um, so yeah, yeah, no, I'm enjoying the fire tonight, I'm enjoying the cooking. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into bed actually. It's cold. So uh, yeah, if I don't see you tonight, I might see you in the morning. Well, hello again. It's about midnight. Um, I've had my sausages, cooked them in um, coconut oil. I just put um, some sausages in a freezer bag with a bit of coconut oil. Obviously it's, you know, like, so sort of hard-ish. Um, but I see I was carrying a separate little bottle of liquid. Um, and they were absolutely beautiful. A hint of coconut, but hey, I love coconut. I don't mind, you know, so all's good. It was very, very nice. I'm now eating my um, chicken tikka. Look what we found, chicken tikka. Beautiful, actually. Boiling the bag rice, which is absolutely boiling. I think I've, I've slightly overdone it. The, the bag was like just about bursting. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. So I think once I've had this, we'll let the fire go out, uh, and then we'll, we'll head off to bed, get warm. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning. 
Well, here we are. Had a pretty crap sleep. Uh, wind was just horrendous. It's it's still pretty bad now. But uh, yeah, woke up through the night for a wee, so had to get out the bag, the bivvy, and then get back in. Um. Yeah, yeah. I found it was pretty cold on my back, so I think I'm going to get one of them, um, you know, the the foil reflectors uh, next time. A couple of quid apparently on on eBay or, or whatever, so that might come in handy. And the way out. So yeah, I'm going to get up <sighs> and um, have a cup of. Be soggy socks and boots on and then pack up. Um, I'll see if I can show you around a little bit because I don't think I did that much last night, did I? But um, I'll see you in a minute. Hello again, right? Okay, so up got the uh, pot on for a brew, oh, a nice cup of coffee. A very strong cup of coffee because uh, I had a bit much of the old whiskey last night. So I'm a little bit parched and not so there, but. But I, um, so let's have a little look around. This was my home. It's a bit of a mess, like, well, not for me, but you know. It's not, it's not an ideal place to be camping at all. Um, but it's, I mean, this is the target that we, we had, um, and it's it's not, it's not great, it's not great, so, you know, um, I've had a good night, you know, so in, in that respect, it was a success, it was also a success because we know that this isn't a great site for, you know, three or four lads to be kipping, uh, I don't think uh, we can come back here really and, and have a safe night, or safe few nights, because there's just so much dead floor around here, it's unbelievable, it's all marshy, but uh, yeah, so have a look, there we go, right, so this was when I was sleeping, you can see the, uh, the tops, uh, loosened off a little bit now with the wind. Uh, I've got a uh, little protector, reflector, whatever you want to call it. It did the job actually. It was. Um, it looks pretty ramshackle. I've seen a few, few of these done online, and uh, they, they look absolutely perfect. You know, I mean, they must have. Spent loads of time going out and getting perfect logs, so it looked brilliant, but I didn't have the time for that, um, and I don't have really the uh, the resource for that around here. So, it is what it is, and it worked. There we go. Right. Okay, this is boiling, so I'm just going to pour my cover out, and then uh, we'll talk about a few more things. Just want to do a little shout out to uh, Military Mart, um, just for uh, this this LK. Well, this is a 50. I did actually order a an LK 35. If I can get on there, yeah, there it is. But they've whoop, whoop. but they've sent us an LK 50 by all accounts, which is. Spot on. Love the bag. Absolutely. Sp I mean, look at that. I mean, you know, you got your your, your hooks for the the axe or a shovel if you if you needed a shovel. I've sewn the pockets on on the sides. I mean, they were from Military Mart as well. I actually sent them an email saying like I wanted those particular pockets because um, that's what um, Mike McQuilton of MCQ. I had suggested and they're, they're absolutely perfect um 
done a few other things. Obviously the carry handle there. So on that I'm just using some some old webbing off an old bag, you know. Um, and this this beast of a uh, you know well, sort of a kidney belt, isn't it really? Um, but yeah, it's. I mean that took a bit of doing. I had to get like a, a sort of a, a military type belt to slip through that um, cushioning that I had made for the belt. Um, put a few sort of canvas loops on for uh, you know attachments, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean I love that part. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Uh, cheapest chips, and you know you can you can sort of do what you want with it. And, you don't have to put all those things on, you know, but obviously glove stock it helps, you know, if you're carrying a bit of weight. Uh, so, so I that's the bag, that's the bag. Well pleased with it. So thanks very much. Uh, right, let's do a little digs around. Ah, it's freezing now, like really cold, especially with soggy socks and boots on. But uh, I've got a couple of there, I'm going to have that, a bit of chocolate, track a bar, and then uh, that'll be me packing up. But it's, um, it's very um, sort of enclosed here, you know what I mean? Obviously there's, there's these hills up here. Few, few sheep but you know there's nothing and the other way around the other side of the forest is just a huge huge it's pretty much a, a mountain that I had to climb to get up here so you know it's all right if, if only this place was better we'll have to I'll have, might have to check over that way to get back down uh, see if there's any any spots over there because it's nice yeah really nice and coming through the valley was absolutely sublime. It was lovely when the sun was out. So, right, I'm gonna get me cuppa. We're here. All right, so all packed up, ready to go. Can't quite claim no trace. You know what I mean? We've got like a uh, little shield thing there. So now I'm gonna try and climb out of this barbed wire fence without snagging me bollocks. So. I'll let you know how that goes when I'm further doing bleeding to death. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Nice cut by this morning. Didn't sleep very well, but it's the way it is. I think if it was a bit of a better location, less wind, more heat, then uh, yeah, that would have been all right. But uh, yeah, it was good, really enjoyable. So I'm gonna crack on, get out of this. Because the, uh, the farm has been around on the quad with the dog. I uh, didn't know if the spotters or not, but I best uh, get a move on just in case someone comes and lynches us. Right, in a minute. Hello, just wanted to show you <coughs> where I sort of was. If I can, the farm has back over there somewhere in the distance. <coughs> But I was just down here. Oh yeah, there he is. It's good. Down there on the left somewhere, off we're doing that fence. Look at this. It's lovely, isn't it? Even in this weather, cracking, windy. I don't know if you can hear it. Water source. If we needed it, we don't. Still got some water in me, ladder. Hey, lovely. Right. Yeah, so. So the river Bremish is down at the bottom in the valley. 
Uh, there's a pathway through that forest there, right at the bottom in the corner. Um, but I thought, well, I knew where I wanted to be, which was up here. Um, and there's a, there's a huge sort of valley in the middle there. I don't know if you can see, but, but yeah, it's not great over here. It's all marshy. Trees are falling through left, right, and centre. Uh, but it's definitely going to be worth coming here and, and you know finding another little spot because it's cracking. It's beautiful. There's a farmhouse down there. I don't know if you can see it. Right at the back of, of that one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you because it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll show you a little bit further down as we uh, get down from there to the river because it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous yesterday. So, so yes, back shortly. Right, uh, a bit further down the hill. <clears throat> Excuse me, a bit further down the hill now. So, you know, it's good, it's good. Obviously, there's the river Bremish down there, which uh, it looks like you could just, you know, toddle over that knee bother, but I'll tell you, I, I had to cross the river five times yesterday, and I was nearly in it five times like, completely, which, you know, reminds us. Of a few schoolboy errors that I've made, which I'll tell you about in a sec. But this year, this is a forest that we were kind of aimed for, but then we wanted to be up at the top and in there, out the way. Um, but it's marshy, it's knee good on that side. You've got a valley down the middle of it, so I don't know, it might be worth having a trip into it um, next time with the lads. But the thing is, I mean, once you're in there, it's going to be so dense, you know, so full of pines and um, needles, that sort of thing. It's, it, it's, I don't know if you can hear us, um, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty bad for, you know, fires, you know, we don't really have a control of fire in there, but. Firstly, when I was going through the through the river yesterday, I got absolutely soaked. Um, not at first. I mean, you know, me, me, me boots are well, were very extremely waterproof. Um, so the, the, the gators do a really good job. But the um, thing is, I was nearly falling in the river. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, splodging and trying to keep me balanced stamping all over the place and slipping uh, so I thought hold on why in the hell didn't I bring some clean dry socks keep them in the car even and some trainers or something similar so I can just change and be nice and comfortable for the journey home but no 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 nah not me uh, also I'm using more as phone at the minute because I've, I've smashed mine. Um, so she said, you know, you better not smash mine and uh, I'll kill you. And she will, but uh, car keys as well, phone and car keys. I didn't put them in like a dry bag because obviously I've been like using the phone um, to take video and stuff. But even the car keys, they should have all been in dry bags. Like I say, I was nearly over in the river. All the time. Hello, little sheepy. Um. So yeah, yeah. Lucky, lucky. I didn't go over. Really lucky on one occasion, especially. So lucky. But uh, yeah, a couple of schoolboy errors. Which, a bit silly. I mean, I've got everything. You know what I mean? I've got absolutely everything. I've got. I've got dry bags. I could quite easily shove half my kitten in dry bags that I've got in here, but uh, schoolboy errors, just thought I'd let you know, because uh, 
I didn't want you making the same mistakes I made, or nearly made, because it could have been divorce. But I am going to see if I can cross this little stream and find a way through in the corner over there somewhere. <clears throat> Is that a ram? It better not be. It's got big horns on it. Right, anyway, I'm going to see if I can get out Right here at the bottom, um, there's the pathway I was talking about that goes up into the forest. We were up there, right at the very top and then around the corner to the left past all the, uh, the, the, the conifers there, right at the very top. But yeah, I almost ventured up in here, um, public bridal way apparently. So if I had a map, I'd be handy to see if that can get us around this stream, you know, or river. Well, a river, because, you know, the stream's a bit, uh... Oh, I fell in the stream. Well, that's not very good, is it, you know what I mean? But, oh, I fell in the river. Ah, ooh, are you, are you all right? Yeah, that's, that's what it's like. A bit calmer down here. So, we're going to walk along this valley. In the shadow of death. And then, uh... Snake my way around and to the left on the this is the way we came really, or the way I came yesterday. So yeah. It's all good. I don't know if you can see in there. It's pretty steep. I mean, you know. Okay, or anyone I can, <clears throat> can walk on a camp on with, they'll tell you. I live in like bubbies, I live in like gang up massive mountains. You know, I'm not built for that sort of thing. I can, I can walk a distance, you know, I don't mind. I mean, I've climbed a hill there, which seemed like a mountain to be honest with you yesterday, but you know, um, I walk here, he's, he loves his uh, Wayne Wrights and you know, he's always trying to get us to go over and oh, back a peak, back a peak. Only cans on a boot, you know. But uh, you know, I'm, I, I prefer to do the the whole camp and malarkey, and you know, a bit of walking, a bit of camp craft. I'm gonna say camp craft because, well, I mean, we can call we can call it. Oh, sorry, I just blocked the camera there. We can call it, uh, you know, bushcraft, but. Um, yeah, it's a very generic term, isn't it? And uh, people use it a bit too much. Oh, I'm, I'm a bushcraft. I'm here, like I love me bushcraft. I'm the main bushcraft. I run these parts. No, you're not. Yeah, you know, you know, anyone is. I mean, you know, I, I don't buy expensive gear or anything like that. I yeah. Uh, I go for army surplus most of the time because it's generally bomb proof, made really well and uh, you know it lasts and it's it's fit for the purpose yeah it can be a bit heavy sometimes like the arctic sleeping bag I'm carrying with us but you know I, I almost brought out, brought out a Van Gogh and uh, you know that was, it's it's ancient and uh, I probably would have froze to death actually if I hadn't, if I'd have done that. <coughs> Pardon me, so I'm glad I didn't. You know, a little bit of extra weight for the extra comfort when you need it is is all good, all good. It's just the way it is. I hate this, uh, you know, like oh, counting the ounces and you know, oh, but, but this this is three grams less than that one. So yeah, nah, uh, sod that, no. You know, you go what you're comfortable with, what, what's going to keep you right, and what won't break down on you. If you get something flimsy because it's light, then it knacks, it's your own fault, you know. Like, again, I've got an army surplus turp. Uh, turp. Quack. Top. Uh, and... Oh, sorry, there we go. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, 
I've used it quite a bit now. Um, it's a pre-strung, you know, so it goes in a dry bag, which is it's only like a five, five liter, I think, four liter. Small thing, but it crushes in there really well. Uh, you know, and uh, it's solid. That's absolutely solid. So I would like a DD one, to be fair. Uh, like a three by three, huge thing. So I can practically, you know, live under it for a few decades. But uh, well. Where do I cross? Where shall I cross? Diddle diddle dee dee. Now where the, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll carry on along. We'll carry on. And I think I've got a little bit to go yet before I get to the point where I have to cross. So yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, walk in, like I say, I mean, he'll buy like Rab and stuff, you know, there's no against that, you know, he's he loves his um, sort of designer stuff, and, and a lot of the time, you know, it is light, and, and you pay sometimes for what you get, so you pay a lot of money for, um, I mean, say, say a, a down sleeping bag, a four season sleeping bag, you can pay what 250 quid, something along those lines. This sleeping bag got me back here. 30 quid with the uh, the compression sack you know um, the the bivy bag I've got I think that was a boot a tenner maybe slightly more don't remember I got off eBay you know absolute bargain you know, combat jacket York market it cost us about 20 quid 25 quid uh, the hat, woo, 150. Oh yes, you know there's, there's there's all these sorts of things that you don't need to go out and and spend like 50 quid on a hat. This one for 150 has done us a long, long time, and it's very warm, lovely. You know, it does the jobs, keeping my ears warm, especially doing that mountain there on the way down. The wind was blowing at us. You know, so. There's all these things, you know, I like to keep it cheap and cheerful. Uh, so, I mean, I cannot afford to go out and spend 250 quid on a, on a sleeping bag. I don't know about you. You know, anything like that. Or, you know, 300 quid on a, a jacket, which is, you know, got all these technical names of, well, that's shite. So, you know. What you can afford, I suppose, and what tickles your fancy. Well, nah. Uh, bottom line is, you don't need all that rubbish. It can be handy, you know, if you want light and extremely waterproof and extremely breathable. Although I find that most of the breathable things that that I've had in the past uh, just aren't, you know. Still sweat like a fat lass in a disco in it, so. But then again, uh, sweating pretty much anything, so it makes the odds to me. It makes the odds. I'm gonna sweat whatever I'm in. Therefore, best option, cheap and cheerful. Right. Across this river. It's not a stream, it's a river. Says so on a map somewhere that I seen yesterday or the day before. So I oh. right over there. Right, I can hear some something coming for us, like a, a quad or something. So I'm gonna go. Well. Farmer didn't shoot us or anything. He's just heard me sheep. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it was hassling us yesterday. Can you see it? I don't know if you can tell by the <coughs> noise it makes what it is, but 
Must be Nestler run here or something because uh, he wants to scrap us, you know, wants to wants to do us in a little bit. What's he up now? Wants to chill. Come in peace, man, come in peace, I'm just going through. God. Divers, but I didn't. Hey, right. Now we've got to cross this river again, I think. Uh, you know, it'd be great to just sort of cross it once and then walk on one side, but I think just the way the way it's, it is and the banks, just you can't eat. I literally crossed to the boot five times yesterday. Could be more, I don't know, but shut up! Shut up! Oh, wait, well, anyway, try and ignore it. Ah, so, yeah, Whew. stunning. See where we're heading along there. Beautiful. I don't know if you can hear the farmer out behind us there. I don't know. It's miles away, but on this quarter, we should have one of them. Yeah, that would be great. Have ah, a look at this. Look. Deceptive is what that is. I'm going to get suck in again. I think I'll try our yonder, actually. I'll try our yonder. Looks like there's a bit of a dip. Fall in, fall in, and you've got proof that it was an accident. I tried my best. Kids, it's all last kills, I was nearly away there. Slippy is out. Yep, right in. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Nearly right at the end of that. Come on. <laughs> yes. I fell. But we were actually just getting up the bank. Oh, that was dreamy. Oh, yeah, man. Now I'm going to do a wet arse. Okay. We survived, the phone survived. All is good. Right, I'm gonna go and crack on a bit. Wet arse. Right, I need to cross again. Because I need to be on that side. All the way down the bottom there. Um I'm sure I'm sure when I came round that way, then yeah, I couldn't come along there, but I'm gonna give it a shot. See what happens. Ooh. Right. Hey. It's like uh, there's, there's not really uh, you know like walking trails or anything you know where you can see people have been walking. It's more just sort of sheep trails. You know, where they just follow. They follow the same path. Ladies, out these rocks. Whoa, oh, that's a kind of fish. Hey. I don't know what that was, but it was funny. Right. Let's go to this way if we can. Oh. Or not. Better.
fish up there, like. Shoot now, I don't know what it was. Black thing. Do you get catfish in these waters in there, do you? I don't know. I don't know what you get, I only come out here, you know. I'm not David Attenborough out like that. I tell you what, it's amazing in Northumberland, the places you can go. I mean, I think I've been to loads of places in Northumberland, but I've never been here. And just this valley itself, it's stunning. It's great. There were some gypsies along the end lake. Like when I first came in, a couple of miles along the road, it really was, along the valley. But, uh, we just parked up on the side of the road, having a little get together. Crap and spot. But, you know, you've got to be able to, I think, personally, I like to go for a journey, carry what I need on my back, and get out somewhere, a couple of miles, a couple of miles Good. I mean, you know, we've been on a few walks in Northumberland, the wall and the Roman wall, uh, over the lakes, and we've walked for miles, absolutely miles, you know, and your feet are dropping off uh, like a few hours into the second day, and you know, you're, you're sweating. Yeah, I don't know. It's, but it's just such an adventure, it's lovely. Uh, but like I say, I was saying earlier on, I like, I like the whole camp craft deal. I don't like climbing mountains particularly. I've climbed a few with War Kid. Uh, but oh, that's his deal. He's, he's great at it, he loves it. Me. Oh, God. I mean, I can see the, the why you would love to do it. But, uh, yeah, it's not really for me. It's a, it's a whole lot of pain, sweat and tears to get to uh, a peak to be able to say, yeah, I've done that one. But, no. Well, I tell you, I've, I've really enjoyed this. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've been wet, cold. Uh, I've ate like a king, an absolute king. I mean, my coconut sausages were absolutely beautiful. Just with a hint of coconut. But, uh, last time I was out, um, it was a while ago, because... I've moved house and, you know, things like that, personal things have been happening. Uh, but, last time I was out, a while ago, um, oh, I had uh, the, look what we found, meatballs. Uh, again, it was the same sort of packet, same sort of deal as the chicken curry I had last night. Um, and I have to tell you, the meatballs were... Unreal for lush. Um, and I had them on smash. Um, now, I, I learned, I, I had a little bit of, exp of an experience with smash the first time I took it out. I thought, you know, it's a, it's a good idea. Mash, it's powder. You put it in water, and essentially you've got your mash. And you can have that with you and have some sausage. Onion, a bit of gravy, maybe, you know. It's, obviously, you need to fry your, your onion and your sausage. Uh, me and Walker tried that, and more 
uh, up in Northumberland River. Uh, Simon Side, I think it was. Simon Side, right near the uh, Fell Wanderers site where he was. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. So we had a bit of a disaster. The the mash was all runny and it was awful. It was awful. We were feeling pretty sick the next day. Um, but the next thing I took it out when I was by myself, I thought, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in most of the, it's like a sort of a tube, isn't it? It's like a tubey box that you get from Smash. I put most of it in a dry bag, in a food bag, sorry. Uh, and I put in like loads of butter in that bag as well. So, you know, I'm not carrying separate things around. Again, same with the sausage and the, the coconut oil. It's all in the same bag, you empty it into a pan, you're away. So, sorry if that wind's drowning us out, or maybe you're not, maybe it's a blessing, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I had, I took out the, the smash with the, uh, the butter in the, in the food bag. Oh, oh, oh man, with the meatballs on top. It doesn't get any better. You know, when you're in the middle of the forest, you know, drinking a bottle of wet red wine, thinking, where am I going to go? Where am I going to put my head down? Where's my home tonight? You know, and you've got deer and all sorts of animals prowling around you, thinking, what the hell is going on here? Just me, just me, getting my head down. But, uh, yeah. So there's, there's another tip, put your oil, like hard oil, but I mean you could even use lard I think, if you want to do, you know, with your, your sausages or bacon or whatever. Uh, your food bags, you can, you can get about like, I don't know, 30, 50 for a quid or something, can't you? B&M's, Ollie, that's a, that sort of place. So, so yeah. Let's give it a shot, give it a shot. Get your cell out. Here we're going again. You see? You kinda you kinda get over there. Kinda get on that side of it, which is where I really need to be. Unless I somehow manage to get all the way at the top. But that would be gone like up the hill all the way over there and then crawl along the fence I think. Take the chances in the river again. Oh my god. That's like <laughs> Yeah, actually there's another site around the corner. I'll show you in a minute. I've got to get another river crossing. Um but it's around the corner, I'll show you someone's had a tent by the looks of it. I mean, you could still put your your basher or your tarp to it, uh, you know, and just bivy it. It's pretty calm, or it was really calm around there yesterday. Really shielded from the wind. Uh, oh, this looks good. This looks good, okay. This is where we're gonna do it. Because I tried to cross further down. In fact, I did cross further down yesterday. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god, it's deep. That's probably why I didn't come here yesterday. And it's leaking into my boot. 
Sneaking into my boot Right into my boot And it's so deep Right, phone away now I made it Got absolutely soaked, it's really, really, it's deceptively deep I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it just, it doesn't look deep at all But, uh it came up to me and over the top of me yes yeah, that's how sort of deep it is and now my boots although they're pretty good at keeping water out they're pretty good at keeping water in as well so i might have to stop and let it out oh oh it's very squidgy right just what you know i'm alive that's all just keeping you posted Someone's got it. Oh, right. Just about the uh, the end of the journey now. Well, end of the walk. Still got a bit of a journey in the car with half of the river Bremish in me. Boots, but it's all been good. Um, that camp, I'm sure that campsite was along here. Or the, well, I see the campsite. The, uh, someone's left there, the mark with the fire. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lazy summer day coming along. Yeah, it's not. It's not so. Well, it's not so good today. But yesterday, when the sun was out, oh, this valley. I mean, it looks superb now. But when the sun's shining, and oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's no wonder someone just uh, plonked their horses over there and made a fire. They probably only walked from our the uh, couple of hundred yards because that's where the car is, just our there. <coughs> Excuse me, I think you'll see it in a minute. But uh, there you see, there's the car. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on this camera. I can see it. <sighs> In the distance, Let's see if we can. Ooh, wee! There it is. Okay, so there's the car. Uh, someone's probably just whacked from there. He can't thought, right? That's it. Enough's enough. This is nice. Let's do it. Uh, it's not a bad area though. If you got like a a tent, it's nice and soft, bit lumpy. I think in the height of summer it might be uh, kind of midgy infected with it being so marshy and obviously the river there. Oh yeah. Lovely. There's a bit of a dangerous bit over here that I crossed on the way in. Well, I don't really want to do it again on the way back out because I sort of jumped down a few bits. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a little look. Oh, it looks like there might be a cross in there actually, which I'll probably try to avoid. But yeah, yeah, that's. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, a slight sort of pathway running along there. Um, behind the trees, it's pretty steep. It's, it's more of a. Um, like a sheep path than anything else. Uh, it was pretty dangerous, pretty hairy for someone with a 20 odd K backpack on. I say 20 odd K, I don't know, it felt like 30 ish. Um, could have been, could have been 15 for all I know. Who's counting? Certainly not me. Oh, I have to cross here again, lads. Ooh. And probably again over there. But I'm already soaking, so it's not a little far in, that's the main thing, isn't it? Get everywhere else soaking. Because it's slippy. Oh, 
pool of water coming in. Oh, oh very deep. Nearly out of there. What I do near. Oh, that didn't sound right, did it? You kind of get me feet or legs anywhere. Just a bit colder. Okay, that'll be the curry. Nope, that'll be the coconut sausage. Oh, a bit breezy. Right, I'm gonna let you go. It's uh, might be a bit hairy out here. Just having a ham and peace pudding sandwich, as you do at about nine o'clock in the morning. Well, um, yeah, back in the car, obviously. Um, really good, really, really good. Just seen the farmer herding his sheep sheep up there. He didn't want to kill us, he's actually just, just chatting. He's like, alright, you know, he's smashing. Young lad. Um, so. so, yes, that's it. Another one. Um, I mean, it's obviously, I had, a, I had a good night, you know. I think I say three, four lads in that place wouldn't happen, so we're going to have to maybe. Uh, Come out and play about it, yeah. See if we can find somewhere else. Um, plenty of places we can just really hunker down. Plenty. But what we're trying to do is get a a couple of days in, you know, a couple of a couple of full days um, doing some camp craft. So um, you know, you need you need solitude for that. You didn't want to be getting sort of kicked off, or kicked out of where we are when you're busy uh, in the middle of making like a sweet airframe or something. You know. So anyway, anyway, it's been absolutely emotional. Um, so I'll uh, I'll hopefully see you in a few weeks when um, we'll come out. We've got uh, my brother. Little Bushy Johnson, um, Holly Oaks. Cause that was a drama with Holly Oaks, you know what I mean? Um, uh, and maybe Sweet Shit. Robbie, aka Sweet Shit. Um, we'll see, but he he's moving down to Liverpool, so we'll have to see. Uh, could be the three of us, but let's play it back, yeah. And I shall see you next time. I'm waffling. Bye.